This is Ollie Pidgeley. Ollie is only 20, but he's had a pro racing license for 12 years. Here he is competing in the JCW class of the Mini Challenge. And when he's not doing that, he's teaching older people how to drive properly at Mercedes-Benz World. It's fair to say then that Ollie is pretty serious behind the wheel. That makes two of us. I've got my finger again on this stupid GoPro. So this week's review and a few is going to be a little different. Instead of doing a small hatchback or something, we are going to review a few common driver distractions and we're going to use Ollie here to do it. Seriously, it could save your life. And we know it's not especially shocking to tell you that texting and driving is stupid, but to actually see the sort of impact that that and other more innocuous things that you probably do in your car day to day have on your driving. <laughs> That is shocking. But before we get into that, let's quickly give you some data. Over the last five years, mobile phone use has been cited as a factor in more than 600 serious accidents in the UK. More than 100 of those fatal. And although texting and driving is the most egregious of the dangerous things you can do behind the wheel, it's not the only thing. Be honest, right? I bet you at least once you've been filling with your sat nav or opening a packet of crisps or something, and you've just drifted out of your lane a bit. No? Great but there's more. According to Rosper, one of the most thorough driver data studies ever undertaken looked at 241 drivers. There were dozens of crashes, hundreds of near misses, and thousands of incidents. Eight out of 10 of the crashes had distraction as some sort of contributory factor. Another study showed just what sort of things distract drivers in real life, including eating and drinking, using a sat nav or your radio, noticing stuff outside, or talking to a passenger, dealing with your kids, writing, and leaning over for things. In other words, stuff that we all do in our cars. 130 horsepower one, I hope it is. I wanna just check. And it's getting harder to avoid distraction because now even the smallest and most inexpensive new cars on sale are as gadget laden as the luxury cars from just a few years ago. And even the stuff that's perceived to be safe, like hands-free calling, isn't necessarily as safe as we think it is. Last study, I promise, but when researchers have looked at the cognitive effects of listening to someone talking while they're driving, the results showed that we can't actually multitask. I don't think that's safe. Instead, the brain's ability to focus on moving images is reduced because part of that brain power is given over to concentrating on the conversation. Your field of vision actually narrows too, which means that you can miss things. Okay, so you'll remember Ollie from the start of the video. Well, there he is, and there are some traffic cones. You know, the sort of thing that we can arrange and have Ollie drive around in various states of distraction. We've set up a course that mixes the sort of high-speed cornering that Ollie is used to with some much slower and more technical stuff that's more relevant to everyday driving and will require him to really pay attention. After squeezing through a couple of narrow gates, Ollie has to reverse into a parking space, negotiate a slalom, make a tight U-turn, complete the slalom in reverse, then do a parallel park maneuver before racing back to the finish line, all without hitting a single cone. As complicated as it is, it should all be simple as for Ollie, provided he's paying attention, that is. First off, here's Ollie doing the course using all his motor skills in both senses. So, with nothing to distract him, Ollie has posted a time of just over three minutes. Now, let's see what happens when he has to take a hands free call. Two, one, go. What's the square root of 100? Square root of 100? Uh, Tell me all about your um, racing car. Uh, yeah, based on a Cooper S and uh, built um, built by the race team. Uh, sequential gearbox, uh, obviously racing clutch, nice big aero diffuser. Three, two, one, across the line. Even going hands free, Ollie dropped a good few seconds, as you can see here. So let's see what happens when he has to hold the phone. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'd imagine so, yeah, yeah. Oh, one-handed slalom, oh! But you can't react quick enough because you can't steer and change gear. 
I'm having to go through this corner and straighten up a little bit to change the gear. I could swap hands, but then I don't know when I'm going to change gear. This is going to be the test here, going through this kind of triple chicane. We're having to go from third down to first. That was definitely a lot slower. You're right, Ollie. A massive 13 seconds slower than your non-distracted time, in fact. Plus, you flattened a corner, you amateur. Next up, reaching for a healthy snack from the back seat. Now inputting a specific but unfamiliar address into the sat-nav. Please follow the arrow on the display. And last of all, doing the real dirty, sending a text. And so the results. As you can see, it's the text that was most detrimental to Ollie's time. No surprise there. But you'll note that the sat-nav one was very nearly as slow. And of course, using one of those on the move is both common and legal. The reality is, you're always going to want to, you know, turn your favourite song up or turn the heating down. But we can all make a concerted effort to reduce the amount of time that we spend not concentrating on the road ahead. Plus the amount of time we spend without our hands on the wheel. I'll work on that, sorry. Now, of course, I'm deferring to myself here as much as anyone, but you know, maybe set the sat nav before you start driving and pull over to make the phone call, even if it's on hands free. Thanks for watching. We hope you found it reasonably informative within the confines of the very non scientific approach that we used. And as ever, leave your comments underneath and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not already done so. Normal car review service will resume next week. Bye.